So, everyone knows about Ed, everyone knows everything he's lifted, everyone knows all that bullshit. Yeah, if you really know Ed, you know he's a literal psychopath <laughs> and loves... I'm not, I'm a very, very nice person. <laughs> he loves all sorts of violence. combat and violence, especially. Secretly super violent, dude. Uh, especially knife fighting. So we're going to go through a little knife fighting tutorial on how to... No, the, the reason I got into like uh, counter violence and stuff was I, I, I was always a fan of like the Born Identity and Taken and all that shit. And my trainer was in our gym training someone once. And they were going through stuff, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is like watching a movie." And so when I started with him, yeah. actually, it, it yeah, made me move so different because I was so ingrained in powerlifting for so long I couldn't move anymore. So uh, like training with a knife is just one part of body moving. You learn how to use your body more because the the sense of self-preservation, let's say, if someone tries to stab you is much, much higher. So your reflexes and stuff have to move different. So instead of moving like this, you're, you're like moving way different. So you're really setting up for like a second, now you have your powerlifting career, now you're no, there's no, there's no, there's no fight for it. I just like learning how to, I just, I just like learning how to defend myself. Learning how to defend myself is really by the things made me really calm. Alright, yeah. All you to get your violence out of controlled manner. 100%. 100%. It, 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 it brings your confidence, but it gets me in better shape and stuff. So when you ask me like about a lot of knife stuff, it's like there's only so many ways to stab someone. There's low, there's higher, there's this way. So, like normally, if, if you have a foot blade, you carry it right here, and so when you flip it out, it's here. Always keep this hand here so you don't cut it yourself or get hit. Because in a real, a real fight, all it takes is that to end the whole fight. You're going to cut through everything. It's not going to go like this in the movies. You're going to look at it, you're going to see your tendons cut, and you're going to go down. It's that simple. But real violence, comes at you like this. Real violence isn't a jab. Real violence is a head on the Real violence is if someone has that, they're actually coming at you like this, or they're, they're, they're just all out trying to stab you. And all it takes is a little fire. So, like, with my hand, stab me low. Cut. Then it comes cut, cut across here, here, here. Yeah. And you always lead with the knife. You don't want to lead with your hand, because if he has a knife in his hand and I go to go like this, all he has to do is just retract it really fast. Now I'm done. I can't use I'm done. I'm done. Stab me like higher. Here. You lead with the blade, you cut, check it, come back across, here, here again. Yeah. Pardon? I'm walking away. It's already done. <laughs> and then like a beer bottle away, like a broken bottle or something come at me like that. This comes a, 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 a guy with a broken a bottle and try to stab you. So what happens, yeah, what happens there is this. So I will literally just come right through your bicep. I will check it. I will come across and just slice. So the body movement, what you do is, is you learn body movement, but when I slice that thing and come across, I just slice them like four more times. So that's just, yeah, that's just done. Game over. Yeah. And then, so if you need to know, not only will he get you a world That's just a little total, bit. That's just a little bit. If you don't follow his programming, he'll kill you. So <laughs> you have that. <laughs> I, better, I, I spotted Jared today like this. <laughs> Just poking him a little bit. So you, you stand up with that splatter yeah, and get your kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take your pick. Your butt hole's going to be two inches longer. <laughs> wow. All right, so now you know a little bit something extra about Eddie. You might not have known before.